For those that don't know already, Masika Kalisha from Love and Hip Hop Hollywood season one is pregnant with Fetty Wap's baby. And basically, there have been a lot of rumors and different things that have been going around recently. And, you know, people have been saying things like, oh, Fetty Wap is really upset that Masika is pregnant and whatnot. And he wanted her to have an abortion, just all sorts of crazy stuff. And I think it originated from a TMZ story. But basically, a lot of blogs and whatnot were sharing the same information as if it was actual fact. And I'm telling you. There have been a lot of stories from TMZ recently, for whatever reason, that I've come to find out have been disputed by the people that, that these stories are written about. Now, the funny thing about it is 30 Mile Zone, or TMZ, is looked at as one of the most respected celebrity gossipy slash news websites and organizations. A lot of people take their word for gospel. But I'm going to read to you what TMZ said about Masika and Fetty Wap. Then I'm going to read to you what Masika actually said about these different stories that are going around the internet. So first up is TMZ's take <laughs> on what allegedly is going on. TMZ writes, and I quote, Fetty Wap lit into his alleged baby mama over her stance on abortion and insinuated she got knocked up on purpose. As we've reported, the former love and hip hop star says she's six months pregnant with Fetty's baby. Sources close to Masika tell TMZ the rapper's first reaction was to ask why Masika didn't terminate the pregnancy. We're told they had an angry text exchange in which Masika told Fetty she believes abortion is murder and he fired back, quote, you obviously don't believe in condoms either. Our sources say Masika pleaded that she'd taken the pill, but it didn't work. And Fetty responded by telling Masika she'd be having the baby on her own. We're told he texted, quote, I ain't coming around helping you none of that. I'm letting you know now. Fetty sources told us he wants DNA proof the kid is his. Okay, so that's TMZ's story. And I mean, wow, the grammar and the spelling in the alleged Fetty Wops comment is just mind numbing. I mean, he's from New Jersey. If he was from the South and he talked stupid like that and typed stupid like that it'd be one thing but you're from new jersey i mean this 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 just better not be true but anyways baller alert caught a message from masika kalisha and i don't know whether or not she actually posted this on their page or if they were just reposting it i don't know all i know is here's what she said on social media where do y'all get this dumb shit from i'm not doing a show with bet i'm not doing a baby mama show I'm not doing a show about pregnant women with other pregnant women. Shaking my head. I am producing, I guess you meant to say I am producing, my own show with a major network and production company. And it's the same show I created before I was pregnant. And I'm not ever going to address the rest of this shit. Blogger see, blogger do. Just keep reposting another blog story. End quote. Wow. Now that's the truth. And may I add, <laughs> people go putting their names on information that did not originate from them, including on YouTube, but I, I won't say any people's names. I'll be nice today. But anyways, the point is this, though. This is amazing. Basically, TMZ posted that story. I'm, I'm almost 100% convinced that that's where the bulk of the information originated from you know tmz but i don't know anything about people claiming that she was going to have a show on bet now i did do a video about her new show and the information that i obtained from her show was the interview that she did at i guess it was power 106 over there in california so i got the information from her from her interview and i made sure to credit the show that she was on and post the link like the video I embedded it on the article on my blog so I made sure that I let you guys know where I referenced the information from and the information that I personally got I got from Masika because I like to be as accurate as possible every once in a while I get caught out there and you know a lot of people were saying something and it's false and I'll tell you know and I tell you guys a lot of the times this information is being said by people on the web or it came from TMZ or came from media takeout or wherever it came from baller alert shade room wherever it came from and the reason why i do that is because 
I don't want people looking at me and saying, dude, why did you say that and come to find out what you just said was was completely incorrect? So I'm letting you know this is where it originates from. So then that way you don't come to me if it's inaccurate. You go and talk to those people that originally put it out there. But anyways, this is all my opinion. And I always have to put out this this disclaimer in the videos <laughs> for legal reasons. This is all my opinion. Let me know what you think about it all below. B sure to subscribe to the meat magazine youtube channels visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com follow me on twitter at meat magazine you know something i invited masika onto my show on my radio show you know to discuss everything that's going on but that's never going to happen because i'm a nobody and she doesn't know i exist but one of these days i'm going to be somebody and i'm going to interview her i'm speaking that into existence let me know what you think about it all below i mean would you listen you better meat magazine